YouTube, it's Lena. And Brian. And we are here with the Japan Crate. We get the deluxe version because it comes with a drink so and a couple of other deluxe. things. Oh, premium, not deluxe, whatever. Let's see, you can get a mini, the original and premium. I don't know how much the mini and the original are, but the premium is 30 and it does ship from Japan. Like we actually have like a little customs thing on the back. So, no ants got into it this month. I was about so to say works. that. So thankfully no ants got into it this month so we can try everything. Awesome. And it does come with a booklet to show you everything that's in it. The first row is the mini, the second row is what they add for the original, and the third row is what they add for the premium. Awesome. Really? I'm sick and you're going to try to make me read? That's not cool. You read better than I do. All right, fine. We'll start with the drink, I suppose. Oh, I do want to mention, last month we got this creme brulee tea. And once I put it in the fridge and drank it, it was so much better. It was apparently better cold. Yeah. You're not going to like this. Oh, I know. I've already read the title. Pokemon Sparkling Grape. I hate <laughs> grapes. Well, no, I love grapes. I just hate anything that's grape flavor. So I don't think he'll try this. Grapes are in season this fall, and while some people have their wine, we have something that's even better. Grape soda. I like grape soda. What's even better is, is that it's Pokemon-themed grape soda, making this already delicious drink even cuter than before. How Pikachu! cute was How cute was grape soda to start with, though? I mean, let's be real here. Tastes like sparkling grape soda. I bet it does. Are you going to try it? Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to freeze, I'm not freeze this, I'm going to put this in the fridge later and I'm going to have it tomorrow. Yeah, you do that. I don't want it. Okay. All right. That looks like sweet potato, honey sweet potato flavor. The honey potato flavored chips are hot in Asia at the moment. So, we, so best believe we brought them for you to try. Just in time for fall, the classic taste of sweet potatoes read. are amplified by the equally natural sweetness of honey, made for a yummy, salty, sweet combo. Their ring shape also make for easy handling and extra crispiness. I hate that. But the tiny rings. It's weird. See? At first, all you get is texture. Once you, you chew on it for a second. I get the sweet potato and the honey. I'm not a real big sweet potato fan, okay. but I do love honey. But not bad. Alright, we have another sweet potato thing. Like this box this month is like several sweet potato things and I don't know why. Thanksgiving. But sweet potatoes are disgusting. That is Rapapo Farm Sweet Potato Candy. Rapapo Farm, the popular sweet potato themed bakery, brings you this fall classic. The oh potato. god, they're wrapped in wraps. In candy form. Uh, with its sweet potato flavored hard candy exterior and its soft candy interior, this is a treat for anyone who wants to taste the fall in bite-sized form. They look like little hard candy gobstoppery things. They're the color of a lemon head. Mm -hmm. They don't taste like a lemon head. I'm sure they don't. I hate it. <laughs> I too hate it because I hate sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. I suppose if you like sweet potatoes, it might be good for you. But since I don't, no thank you. Ugh. We're gonna be bringing those at Thanksgiving next week. Yeah, sure. Somebody there might eat them. No. Somebody might. If not, they can set them on fire. I don't care. Next, we have the Mike popcorn. Mike popcorn brown sugar caramel. A Japan crate favorite, 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 wow. A Japan crate favorite, like Mike's me. Popcorn is back with caramel and brown sugar flavor to deliver all you warm, comfy vibes, perfect for a chilly autumn day. Paired with your favorite popcorn. flip, you're ready for your next movie night. What do you think Vanessa's gonna show for Thanksgiving this year at her house? Hmm? They do a Christmas movie every year at the night of Thanksgiving at his sister's house. It's a, it's more of a subtle, like, I was expecting kind of the, the hard-shelled caramel corn, but it's not. It's soft popcorn, but it's still got that caramel flavor. It's kind of, kind of odd like that. But it doesn't bad. taste bad, though. Okay. Let's wrap, unwrap this doodad. I don't know 
know what the hell it is. That is Sonomanma Kula gum. Sonomanma Kula, which means cola just as it is, is just that. This gum tastes like cola with its nostalgic flavor that goes with everything. Oh god, it smells like uh, flat soda. But it's especially popular fall flavors like with, with... Okay, there's some English going on here. Uh, it's especially popular with fall flavors like sweet potato and caramel. The warm, rich taste of all items meld together mm. perfectly. Oh god, it's like fizzy. With a unique, refreshing taste that's, that is the trademark cola flavor. But be warned, one of these three candies is sour. Which one will you get? I think I got the sour one. I mean, it's gum that tastes like cola. Mine's sour. Mine's not. but the sour caught me really bad off guard. Ah! <clears throat> yeah, okay. <laughs> we might have to film a different one for this. This is the one that was like, do it yourself. How much do it yourself is it though? I don't know. None of this, okay, yeah, we're gonna have to do that another time. Okay, so we're gonna have to film this a different time because I, even though I totally mentioned this before, a couple of days ago, totally forgot. Can, can you read it to me? It's the DIY Magic Foam Jelly. Fall marks the beginning of the holiday season and the holidays mean lots of, at times, boring family get-togethers. This DIY kit, however, is fun for the entire family. We'll be sure to liven up everyone's spirits. We might try like filming this tomorrow with the camera pointed down so they can see it. Yeah. But we're gonna wait on this one. Yeah. Sorry about that. They won't know the difference. Oh, cookies! Okay, that is. I hope they're good because there's a crap ton of them. Harvest sweet potato biscuits. Mother! <laughs> Sweet, simple and sweet, sweet potato biscuit cookies are just a thing to pair with a hot cup of afternoon tea or coffee. Do you the want a sweet potato biscuit, have a Mike? dusting of, of sugar on top for some extra texture. Is there anything in here that's not sweet potato flavored? <laughs> this might just not have been our lunch. Yeah, maybe. Okay, they're in like little packets, so... Well, just open one of the little packets. Obviously. But I'm gonna try one of this and then I'm gonna feed the rest of it to my dog. I will burst one in half. There is sugar on top of it, I can feel it. That is nasty. I don't mind it. I'm not really getting much sweet potato. To me, it just tastes like sugar and cracker. I think that's your sickness coming through there. Maybe so. Lucky you. All right, let's try the little camera. All right, that is a bonus item. It says it right here, bonus item. That's what I say bonus item. Tavarun Desu High. Tavarun Desu, which means I'm gonna eat it, is certainly what you'll be thinking with this nifty candy dispensing gadget. Click on the shutter release button and you'll dispense some fruit candies in a variety of different flavors. I don't know how to do it. Where did they come from? Well, that's where the shutter would be, but. I don't know how to work things. Uh, that might help. I think I broke it. Screw it up, open it inside the box. <laughs> oh well. It sounded really cute, I swear. It does, but I can't get the camera thing to work. Oh fuck, that's hard. That was a strawberry. Oh lime. I like it, but they really caught me off guard on how hard they were. The lemon. Yeah, they're like different colors. And lime. Um They're just a little hard. pretty good, it's just a little hard, kind of almost kind of chalky once you get into it, but I like kind of hard chalky candies, so it works for me. Okay, this, I believe is, this I believe is chocolates. 
It's a key. That is the Kagiko chocolate key. We hope you've got the we hope we've got the key to your heart with this adorable key-shaped arrangement of chocolates that taste like M&Ms. Each chocolate also mirrors the colors of fall foliage that's displayed during this time of year. Wouldn't know. Uh, we do live in Louisiana where leaves just turn brown. If they even do that. Yeah, if they even do that, most of the half the time they don't even turn a color. They are just always green. The shell is a little bit harder than an M&M, but the chocolate tastes like M&M's. They taste closer to sixlets than they do M&M's. Yeah, they're that. delicious, but they're closer to sixlets than M&M's. It has so far been my absolute favorite thing out of the box. One of the few non sweet apps. Jesus Christ, we've got a jelly thing. All right, that is the Sumomo Ball. This peach flavored jelly is made to look like halved baseballs. It's baseball season after all. It does look like a baseball, like it has the little thingies on it. So go ahead and experience the popular pastime. Yes, it's extremely popular in Japan as well, but this yummy treat for when you're on the go. Baseball is like weirdly popular in Japan. It works for them. Okay, I don't know how to split this. Mm -hmm. Oh God, it's gooey. It's, <laughs> it's like soft jelly. <laughs> <laughs> she dropped it. I dropped it in the box at least. Okay, I'm just gonna take a bite of it. That's fine. It's like slimy. Awesome. Not in a not in like a taste gross way, but in just like a texture way. It is peach flavored. I don't like peaches, so it actually does taste really good. It's just it, <laughs> it is a, a very wet. Like that wet, slimy texture that you get on certain things. I'm just glad it didn't end up on the floor. Orion? There's like one English word on there. Are those maybe the marshmallow pudding? Probably. I don't see anything else on Oh, no, wait. Okay, here. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, Okusuria san capsule ramun, or ramune, whichever way you say it. I never did look oh, that up. Oh, it's like a little pill. Okusuria san, or Mr. Pharmacy, capsule ramun par parodies the packaging of real retro Japanese medicines. This quirky candy reminds us of our childhood playing doctor inside when it was starting to get too cold to go outside. This How capsule candy like comes doctor? in a variety of fruit flavors and contains no medicine, rest assured. How did they play doctor? I assume the same way everybody else does. So the dirty way? Very. It's that, fruity. That's neat. Like you said marshmallow pudding. I was expecting marshmallow flavor. Is that the wrong thing? Wrong thing. Someone else. Oh, okay. Never mind that. It's an ice cream cone! It's a gummy candy ice cream cone. Wow. That is the party gummy. Yeah, one of four different baseball <laughs> park concession stand themed gummies. They come in hamburger, hot dog, soda, and ice cream food look alike candies. They're perfect for them. They're a perfect match for the Sumomo jelly and they're made to look like baseballs. My hands are sticky from the baseball. <laughs> well, that's almost easier to divide up. It's hard. Like it's a harder gummy. It has the texture of a circus peanut. It does. It doesn't taste like one though. No, five. thankfully it does not taste like a circus peanut. Um, I can't place the flavor. It's sweet. It's okay. It's, I mean, it's That's something that I think is more interesting for the shape than the taste. Yeah. It tastes like a gummy, but with the texture of a circus peanut. That is Rilakkuma gum. Rilakkuma, Kuma, and Korilakkuma, our favorite bear mascots, are getting ready to hibernate this fall, but even they need a break from all the hunting and gathering. This soda flavored gum does. This is the second soda flavored gum that we've received in this oh, package. Oh, come to the little wrapping. I wonder if it's like, you know, a Bazooka Joe gum. Maybe that's a joke or something. Maybe so. I don't know what it says. This is the second. Soda flavored gum we've I got. I hope this one isn't sour. We need to go get another. Mm. 
It's not sour. Honestly, I don't really get much soda flavor. Yeah, I get more sweet than anything. Sweet, maybe a little tangy. I can get the tang. <sighs> now we have these thingies. I think they might be pineapple flavored. They are. Full Ramoon pineapple flavor. Our favorite whistle candies are back, but in this new universally loved pineapple flavor. I love it that they think that pineapple's universally loved. I love it. She hates it. I like pineapple. I thought you hated the flavor. No, I hate the texture of pineapple. Surprise friends and family with your perfect whistling abilities at your next get together. So, do you whistle? whistle? No, no, what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> okay, they whistle. Okay, that, that's quite enough, thank you. The dogs hate it. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's got the, the chalky flavor, obviously, and texture of, of a smarty. But it whistles, and that's kind of neat. Uh, Here's our marshmallow. Okay, that's probably the marshmallow flan. This is the last thing, I believe. You've got pudding, an iconic Japanese fall treat, and marshmallows. We're thinking hot cocoa and candied yams all together in this cute and fun candy. These marshmallows are Japanese pudding oh, flavored. Oh, there's crap inside of it. These marshmallows are Japanese pudding flavored, a unique treat you can only experience here. Mm, caramel pudding. That's kind of neat. It's got the same caramel pudding, pudding flavor like those Kit Kats did. The Kit Kats are better. They were, but... Okay, is that it? That's it! Alright, what was your favorite thing? <laughs> um, I actually really liked the whistling candies. Um, not I just because I scared the crap out of the dogs. I actually, I really like kind of chalky, smarty type, type candies. Um, there was way too much sweet potato in here, in general, for us who don't really enjoy sweet potatoes. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, there was like three different sweet potato things. And two cola flavored gums. Yeah, that was a little bit of overlap. Yeah. So, uh, that's it. I know next month we're getting another Kit Kat thing, so that's a good. But, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. As always, we do really appreciate it, and hopefully we will see you later. Bye!